exactly. I mean, these bills, especially the ones that are the more controversial because there's all of people across the state that are pushing for something to get done. What happens is that the lobbyists are literally in the halls of the Capitol. They're lobbying, they're pushing, they're calling, they're sending text messages, they're advocating, they're calling in the legislator, they're calling in the staff to put pressure on them to vote for a bill while the rest of us are going to sleep. Right. Because this stuff is happening at 9, 10, 11, 12 o'clock at night. So we also have to be aware that, you know, that our pressure has to continue all the way till the, till, till the, till the end, because things are constantly moving and people that want this, especially big money interests, they will sometimes add even more lobbyists at the end for the last few hours, people that have never been working on it, but because they're trying to get those 41 votes. And if they know that they have, they count, they count the votes, they will know we have already talked to X amount of legislators. And these are the ones are, that are with us. We have to have that same understanding. We have talked to of the 80 members of the legislature. We need to know exactly how many we've talked to, how many have told us yes, how many have told us they're undecided, how many have told us no. And those people that are undecided, that's where our pressure should go. Keep pushing them that they're undecided, have a thousand of us plus more, reach out to them and say, we, are, we want you to vote no on these two bills. We are, we, for these reasons, we have voters in your district. We live in your district. That's what needs to happen all the way through. So right. we, we should all circle in with our legislators, our assembly members, our senators, and then report back out. I can tell you my assembly member, you name that assembly member has told me they're gonna vote for the bill, they're gonna vote against for the bill or they're undecided. Okay, so that's what we have to focus on and we have to do it all the way through. And there should, and there's gonna be all of us signing, signing up with our United Neighbors or however we're gonna get the information and get updates to say the bill is being taken up right now at this time in this, on the floor of the assembly for a vote. These are the people that have voted yes. These are the people that are still undecided. And when we know who those undecideds are, we just target and we call and we send messages and we and do social media, we put the pressure. That's what they're doing inside the halls of the Capitol, except they're getting paid thousands of dollars to do this. We just have to do it from like our passion and our love for our communities and for the things that we want to see in our neighborhoods. Um, and it's really that one day that, I mean, all of these days matter, but the biggest day is the day that the vote is taken up. Right. Um, but let's keep, let's keep the pressure. That's how it works. That's the reality of it. Um, it's a lot of pressure that, that, that gets put on legislators by the big money interest. I mean, that's the reality. And we have to be putting pressure as active, concerned voters in the state.